Welcome back to Trico's Lube Room, and today we're going to talk about choosing a portable filtration system. Portable filtration systems are an important tool in your maintenance reliability program. There's several different kinds, where there's handheld and cart styles, but there's other considerations you want to take into account before choosing one. The first thing to consider is where are you going to filter your oil? If you need to be in a remote location, or at a piece of equipment like a gearbox or a hydraulic reservoir, these are probably your best solution. In most applications, you're going to want to use a filter cart. Filter carts are the industry standard and can be found in almost any location. But the reason for this is because they can handle a large volume of fluid very quickly, much more quickly than our handhelds can. On the other hand, the handheld style is designed to be versatile enough to get into those tight to reach locations or maybe tricky spots that the cart can't get to. The next thing, and probably the most important thing to consider when choosing a portable system, is the viscosity of the oil that you're going to filter. When it comes to the filtration systems that Trico offers, there's two distinct categories for viscosity. One of which is the low viscosity systems, the other is the high viscosity systems. It's very simple to determine between these two categories. If the oil that you're going to filter is less than or equal to 220 ISO viscosity grade, you're going to want to use the low viscosity systems. If your oil viscosity grade is greater than 220, you're going to want to use the higher viscosity systems. It's always important to take into consideration temperature of the oil that you're going to filter. When we say ISO viscosity grade 220, we're talking about room temperature. Any temperature variation from room temperature is going to affect viscosity. So you're going to want to make sure to take that into consideration. Next thing we want to talk about is flow rate. Your handheld systems are typically going to have a lower GPM or flow rate than your cart style systems. That's usually true in your low viscosity and your high viscosity units. For instance, this is a 1 GPM unit and this is a 4 GPM unit. This one here is a 4.5 GPM unit and this one is a 7.5 GPM unit. This is important to consider because if you have a piece of equipment that has 100 gallons in it, an industry standard will tell you that you want to flip that oil six to seven times to get the proper filtration. If you have a one gallon per minute unit, it's going to take you about 10 hours to filter that whole system. But if you have a filter cart system where it's now four GPM, you cut that down to about two and a half hours. So in general, the higher GPM or flow rate that you can get, the more efficient that unit will be. All of the filtration systems you see here come with a 10 micron beta 200 rated particulate filter and a water removal filter. Most equipment or applications have recommendations for ISO target cleanliness codes. If you don't know what these are, consult the equipment manual or contact Trico for recommendations. Incorporating oil analysis into your lubrication program can tell you a couple things. It can at least tell you where you started and where you're going to and how close you are to your target goal. Oil analysis can also tell you what type of filter you're going to need for your application. You also want to consider the power it takes to drive these systems. These systems here are with electric motors. These are 110 motors. There's 220 motors available. There's 50 hertz motors available. And there's also pneumatic motors available. Another option to consider in filtration systems is the use of a bypass valve. Bypass valves come in handy when you just want to empty a system completely. You can use this to utilize your pump, but not necessarily have to go through the filters to empty your system. Finally, lubrication systems offer many different connections when it comes to connecting to your piece of equipment. What we would recommend is hydraulic quick connect fittings. This is always going to make your job easier and cleaner in the end. Well, that wraps up the most important things to consider when you're selecting your filtration system. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.